Truly appreciate it. All right. Well, I said I'm very excited because we have 18 incredible products building on our grant that are presenting the showcase today and tomorrow. And I'm very pleased to welcome Stefan Hechenberger, and I hope I pronounced that properly, your last name. Stefan is the founder of Blockshake, the main developers be behind the DeFi app, which is the wallet for DeFi on our grant. Welcome, Stefan. Check, check, give me a note if you hear me. <laughs> so I just got some socks for me, so it starts really, really well. Uh, my company is uh, Blockshake. I'm one of the founders. Kevin is here too. It's a very short and painless talk. Uh, if you want to know more and how to integrate with uh, the projects we are building, seek us out uh, and talk to us directly. Uh, just to give you a little context, this is um, the DeFi wallet is one of our main products. Uh, we have a protocol for swapping and limit orders. That's uh, DeFlex and SRS is sort of an ambitious uh, cryptographic protocol to reduce the uh, mnemonic you have to remember. So we work together with this with a, a, a cryptographic team that is now at Amazon. And it's a very solid uh, protocol and ambitious project. Uh, all of them have interfaces that you can interact with. Like Algorand is a very composable system. So the cool thing is that like, we can use our projects and like, combine them with each other. There's a fourth one that we kind of started thinking about and we're very excited. It's the uh, smart contracts. They're also known as uh, account abstractions um, or smart account, uh, smart contract accounts. And it's something uh, we think can like, rapidly uh, increase the usability of, of those products. Uh, so it's the basic rundown, so you kind of see what our strategy is. So we want to have like this control panel in the pocket. That's the wallet. Uh, we want to have any, anything a centralized exchange could have, like swaps, uh, limit orders. That's uh, DFLEX. And SRS is bootstrap all your secrets from something you can remember. So this is the idea of brain wallets, but so that it actually works. Like four, four words you can actually remember. It's not 12 words like it used to be in the last in a century with Bitcoin, it's something you can remember. And we use like, uh, this like four strap hardening process where you can actually make this happen in a very secure way. And uh, the technology behind this is called OPRF. Uh, and I'm not going to get too much into it, but like, I can talk hours for it about it. So um, the the last one is like sort of the smart accounts. I think this is sort of like one of the missing links that really can bring, you know, anything what Web3 is, like, like that the Leafs own most of the stuff, uh, which is in, you're all familiar with. But on the other side, it's like, how do you make this happen in a way that is the usability just so easy that everybody can do it? Uh, the mental image I have in my mind is like non-custodial Donkey Kong. So this is how it feels very often. Like uh, on Algorand, we have a little bit of a lag up and have a huge advantage because we have a very snappy, you know, sort of uh, layer, layer zero. Uh, and a lot of things that are difficult on other chains are easy. Uh, especially when you go on Ethereum, you have layer one, layer two, and then you need to move like between them. And for like simple things like a landing protocol, you spend like three hours. And especially when you're trying to do it with a hardware ledger, then you need to update your hardware ledger, and then you have maybe a multi-sig hardware ledger. So if you want to do anything more than just dabble around, it becomes this crazy like game of Donkey Kong. Which nothing against Donkey Kong, but if if you want to do something else than just you know, get sidetracked by all those obstacles, uh, you have to find a way to like, streamline the process. So that's sort of the big picture we're thinking about. Where can we streamline everything? Uh, so to bring it back to like, how to interface with uh, the projects we're doing, I'm going to focus just on DeFi Wallet, because it's a short talk. Um, again, 
you know, seek us out if you want to like talk about the other projects. Uh, DFly Wallet has like sort of four things, um, four interfaces. The first one is uh, how does it connect to DApps? Uh, there are two transports: this Wallet Connect, and we are doing like Web Provider, this Arc 27, which is a direct way of uh, docking to, to the wallet. Uh, Web provider is really exciting for us. We need it for like the uh, extension wallet. So DFly has uh, sort of a, a sister project, which is like parity complete to DFly mobile wallet. You have it in the browser. We in the alpha version with that. And for that, we talk directly from the browser to the extension wallet. And once you have used that, it's like you never want to use like uh, Wallet Connect because it's just so immediate and so flawless. Um, and uh, the integration to the DApps works with sort of like an integration library. And uh, we're working uh, uh, close with other projects in the ecosystem to get it into the, the base library. So over time, you know, the support will be there for all the DApps. Uh, next is arbitrary data signing. That's a very interesting uh, sort of feature. I think that's become increasingly more important. So you can use it to sign documents. You can authenticate smart contracts, and you can prove like the digital identities. Uh, uh, I think in sort of the context of uh, content being created by AI, it's going to be a super interesting uh, use case where you can sign all your um, content that you create with your signature. So you authenticate whatever you're grading and can differentiate it from sort of AI-generated content. Um, this is sort of a quick one. It's like QR code schemes. That means uh, you can print out QR codes that encode the actual price and token. So if you have a store and you want people to pay with uh, like DFly wallet or, or Para wallet, you can actually encode the price in it, put, it, put a label on there, and people can pay straight from it. Uh, there's a generator. Uh, that you can use to generate those QR codes. Uh, it's pretty simple. And then finally, it's uh, the smart accounts, account abstraction. That's, that's a huge topic. And uh, the interesting part about it is uh, it allows you all the flexibility that you use from normal uh, financing products, and it becomes you know, part of Web3. So one use case is um, sort of multi-sigs that you have for companies. Very often, uh, the people signing for multi-sig in a company treasury, they change over time. So you want to be able to reconfigure those. You want to change the thresholds. Uh, sometimes you want to have um, sort of balance the security with the usability. So if you have a super secure system, you might use uh, hardware signers, ledgers with multi-sigs. Uh, which is very complicated, but then you need to you want to use a lending protocol and you don't want to have to sign with a hardware ledger per multi-sig, all of that. So you can reduce the threshold temporarily, uh, do all those things with just one hardware sign and a hot wallet, and then sort of raise the threshold uh, back. You can also do spending limits. So you could have your hot wallet has um, an allowance of a certain amount, like 100 algos or like 100 USDC. So when you go like to the farmer's market, you don't want to like, you know, get out your, your hardware ledger and do multi-sig to just buy uh, some carrots. Uh, it's an open architecture, which is pretty interesting, the whole thing. So uh, typically, there's sort of like a super audited core feature set. But uh, if you need more features, like anybody can put like, you know, it's a pluggable system, can add more modules that you Whenever you activate them, all the people in the multi-stick have to basically sign off and activate this new model. So, so anything is possible. And in terms of building, it's, it's a super exciting. It's basically an operating system for a wallet. So that's ARC 58. And there's a strategy article we wrote about that, how that might look within a, a wallet. So. Um, Try out uh, DFly app. Most people who have never tried it, they really like it. And also makes me super happy when you use it. Thank you. Take my socks.